Okay, so let's take a look at how you can create database in RavenDB along with how you can add, update, delete documents within RavenDB as well. So previously I completed how to install RavenDB on Windows. Next thing what I can do here is I can navigate to the directory where I downloaded and set up the RavenDB. Now here as you can see uh, run dot ps1 is the script i need to run now, now here let's run this particular powershell file right we will have to run this within one of the admin way so now that once we are into the directory where we have RavenDB installed what i can do i can copy the address to this directory now next thing would be to open terminal as administrator right now here what I will do is I will go to this particular directory right so I will just use T drive then clear then I will go to this directory sorry CD and should be this directory right now here what I will do dot forward slash run dot ps1 right this is the file that we have within the directory right once this file starts running you will notice it will show you the RavenDB dialog box next we will be presented with the IP address or the URL which we can use to open RavenDB. Now here it will ask you for the certificate, right? So I can select the client certificate, click OK, and it will open the RavenDB Studio, right? This dashboard is where we can see RavenDB running, right? Now the first thing that we need to do is go to databases. Now here, as you can see, everything is empty and it will all allow you to create one database or back up the existing one right so now we have this new database option where I can restore or create from legacy file so I'm not going with those two options instead I will choose new database now here let's give my database some name my demo can choose the encryption replication and path right so here you can see configuration for encryption replication so let's keep it with default so it will not even let you touch this right so I will just directly go with my name of the database create option okay so you can download the encryption key right or you can copy to clipboard or print it right so I will just say I have saved the encryption key I will download it just to show you the key file right you can have the QR code if you want right and so on uh, next thing click on create your current license key does not include the encryption feature so I will uncheck that okay so if you are premium user you can do with that right click create and we have our database ready right it will also show you the progress and behind the scene will create the database and we will be taken to that part right now here it, it says waited too long for the raft command to execute so let's just refresh this and we have our database that error just went away right so now that we have database you can click on it notice that there are no documents right so when you are working with no sql database you need to understand that unlike sql here you are working with collections and each collection has document so once you create the database you will be given a collection in which you create those documents so here we'll have to 
create the document right so if I click on new document it will be presented something like this right so here if you want you can manually use the ID or use the auto generated one right then you have name here then metadata is also hidden so we will just add in few details such as let's say I have name then some age right so 25 then we have location right and location is let's say Canada right and make sure to use comma after each entry that you add to the document right and if there are no entries simply avoid using the comma right so let's go with that then we have job to choose from right so we have job like let's say developer right so these are some of the things that we can do here now i want to save all of this let's click on save and let's see what happens so it will tell you that unexpected C. So whenever you are using any character or text content, you will have to enclose that in double quotes. Now save and document is saved. And it will show you the list of the documents that are saved. It will have its ID. You can also view the JSON content of that as you can see it has shown that particular document with ID right now we have saved this we can even update these documents so let's say apart from job if I want to add a few more things like say if I want to add the category right or C department right so we use department and let's see network department right and then use comma because we have one more entry below save this so now your document is saved so what we have done so far is we created database right then we created document then we added contain into document then updated it finally one thing we can do is deleting the document right so create create update delete everything is done now let's come back to our databases now we can also delete this and our exercise for working with raven db for create create update and delete of database is completed here you can delete and keep files or delete all data get the option so everything is deleted now if you want to create the database you will have to start from scratch so I have shown you how to create read update and delete the database documents and database itself in RavenDB okay so one more thing that i didn't cover is creating the database from backup so if you already have the file which you can import into raven db you can use that to import the database i will have to cover this separately but to cover this in brief what i can do is go to raven db click on this databases section then click on create one from backup here you can see if you want to restore you will have to show the source of that file right so it could be in your local server directory it could be in RevenDB cloud or amazon s3 azure or google platform you will have to pick one of that say amazon s3 you will have to give your access key secret key then the region where you have it then bucket name right and then use create alternatively you have options with Azure and GCP as well with Azure you have account account key container 
folder in case of GCP you have your bucket name Google credentials in this format so you will have to paste that JSON data for Google credentials then remote folder name you will have to enter right then we have two options one being RemonDB where you just get the backup link through which you can restore the database right also you have local server directory so you will have to give that path so if my file is within D drive I will have to navigate to that part and give it the path right so this is one of the thing that you will be doing for restoring from a file and holding that database right so you should check this option out in case if you have already have some sample database to work with